Hey, welcome back. I'm Victor Alpha 5, Mike Uniform Delta, and I'm going to show you today on how I made my multi tap onion slash ballon for ham radio. Of course, that's what this station's all about, right? So, hey, let's start it off here. I don't want to make this video too long, and I'm going to fast forward it so we're not sitting here wasting me uh, playing with my wire, okay? So, let's keep it going. We're going to be using uh, number uh, uh, 240 mix 31 toroid ring and um, of course we're going to be using I got a bunch of wire in here I got some scraps and stuff I've got just from random electronics and stuff like that so we got the wire we're going to be using we have a soldering gun or a soldering iron we also got a, um, a glue gun and of course we have our demo model, what I'm going to be making for you. So hey, let's get started. First, we're going to take this guy here. We're going to pick two colors. We want to start off the primary winding. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a 4 to 1 to over 81 to 1 tap un unbound. So let's pick two colors. Uh, what's the fancy color we want to use today? Yeah, I got a, I got a red one with a black stripe and a... Uh, purple one with a black stripe let's yeah let's try that all right purple one and a red one with a stripe there we go just to make it a little nicer right now we're going to just give these guys a little strip all right put them both together and we are going to have like this of course we want the longer one you know whatever lengths we're I, i've done this a few times so i've kind of guessing with the lengths uh we're gonna do it three times for our primary wind winding so to do that it's every time it passes through the center is counted as a winding we're gonna be using our hot glue gun to hold everything together believe me or not it's gonna work really nice this is probably the best way that you can really um, get things held together. Put a little bit right there. We're going to stick two of these guys like so. That's the start of it all. Let that cool for one second. And we're going to get some other wires prepared here. We've got all sorts of wires. This is cool. we got a really good mix of, of everything. We got an orange one we're going to use. We're going to use an ugly brown and green one. And a gray one. I mean, you can use all the same color. It doesn't really matter. I mean, I'm going to strip off an inch off that. Inch off this guy or so. Maybe more. You're going to see all the magic come together. All right, we got that. It's all dried. Let's look at it this way. I'll wrap these around. One pass. Two pass. And number three. Gone through it. How sweet is that, eh? Three and three. Get our glue gun. Put a blob of glue, pull her tight, let her set up. Now we're ready for the next. So, we are going to do a few more rounds. And we're going to take the red wire and we're going to do it three more times. So, one, two, And finally, three. All right, three times. We're gonna get our glue gun, put some glue there, pull her tight, let her set up, push her down. So these two guys are gonna be tied together. If you want, let's get some stuff cleared here. 
Let's get my soldering guns on. There she is. Hope you guys can see that. Okay, I'll put it in the center here. All right. Smoke show here. And that's the troubles with having a really nice sharp cutters here. Take take a little too much off sometimes. All right. So let's do an overlay here. We got our primary started. We got our first tap. And that's where we're going to be doing our next tap, our four to one. This one's going to be our center off of our coax. This is going to be our ground. This one's gonna be going on to the next one. So this is where we're gonna go with this guy. We're gonna give about this much. We wanna have a little bit of a lead to clip onto. And we wanna cut her back a little short here. Okay. We take the pre-stripped pre wire, tie her together. Make her nice and like that. All right. We're gonna turn that right up to the end. There we go. Beautiful. It's gonna go there. Three more times. Go one, two. Three. There we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Take this off. All right, there we have it. All this stuff stuck to me. We have the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten taps. Our center, and what we could do, we'll take our little, what you want to call it, terminal block with our coax fixed to it. We're going to just tin these up here. Make some room here. Let's make a little. We take this out here and open the circle a little bit. Let's get the blood started going. Blue and I'm okay. Looks like it. Looks like it. Put that down. Put the option one on the other one. You start to reach a white room. There we go. That's what this guy looks like. Now, next thing we're going to do, we're going to mount it to be careful. You know what? We're going to mount it to be careful. We're going to mount it to be careful. We're going to mount it to be careful. Like that. Got a little zip ties. Got some holes. That's like two of them work. We'll show you for your, your mounting. I love you guys. Kind of good. 
Pretty fun. We could zip tie that down if we want to to kind of hold it in place. Well, that's it. We got this guy on here. What we're going to do, we could do next, we can mark all our ratios on there. You got a little bit of room to put down some of your, what you're using, what's working, what's not. Get yourself a clip for your wire, start clipping it on. That's all it takes, guys. Just like that. Get out there and build one. Hey, post your results on my um, YouTube page or channel or uh, send me an email. I want to see what you guys got. Hey, for now, 73s.